There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, loves? It's your girl. So today's video is going to be a buy by Sam's Beauty, or not even by Sam's Beauty, but it is a buy. Harlem 125. I haven't done Harlem 125 in a minute, so this is the second one that I have done with Sam's Beauty in probably like a month, and it's really, really cute. Um, it's a bob, but y'all really know I don't really go for all those bobs. I mean, like, but I, I be trying to like step outside of the box so much. Like, sometimes I just try to hop outside, sometimes I try to leap outside, sometimes I take little baby steps, you know what I'm saying? But then I have to think about it like, April, hey, just because you don't like a bob. You could review it for other people that might like a bob, right? So, I mean, like, yeah. So, that's the reason why I'm doing this bob. Because you guys might like it. And then I might like it, too. It all depends on how it's styled. Because, like, I really don't like every bob. And I know y'all know that. I know I'm, like, going on and on and on. But I just, you know, just thought I would explain it to you guys. So, anyway, Sam's Beauty, you know, we work together, you guys see me. We've been down for some years now. And this one, I decided, um... Hey, let's just try this out. We're going to do this. We're going to give it a go. And it's synthetic and it's cheap. So it is by Harlem 125 and it's a 4x4 four four full lace with silk base. Okay. Um, it is synthetic. Okay. Um, the name of the wig is like, okay, so why don't they name these wigs? Like, I don't really like this name. The name is FLS08. That's not a name. Like, you know what I'm saying? What if somebody come up to you and you'd be like, they be like, what wig is that? You'll be like, oh, it's the FSL 018. Like, you can't even remember that. It would be just much easier if, hey, what wig is that? Oh, it's it's the Bobby by Harlem 125. Who is going to remember FLS 08? Oh, yeah, girl, FLS 08 all day hashtag. Like, no. I really think that they should name these wigs. The color is a 99J. Like I said, it does say a 4x4 full lace with silk base. Full lace with silk base. Okay, so for one, it's not a full lace. That is where they lied, okay? Because a full lace is the entire wig is made of lace. This is not a full lace. There are tracks in this wig. Okay, you see my fingers. These are not full lace tracks. This is just a regular wig, okay? The only thing that is lace is right here. And then you have this little mesh thing which makes it silk. This is not a full lace cap. Unless they're talking about this, and it's still not like full lace, regardless of the fact. Get it right, people. Get it right. So there are combs right here, and then there's a comb and an adjustable strap in the nape. And for this particular wig, you can actually part it any way you want within this perimeter. The hair texture is like a light yakky, which is great. I love bobs that are light yakky. I don't really like those bobs that are like silky. Those are the ones that I really just don't like because, for one, they're just like really thin, and they don't really have too much volume, and I just really don't like them. This one, I really like the volume of this one. So. Hopefully this won't work out. We're about to see. Like I said, you can part it anywhere. And we're about to see.
guys so what do you think about it like okay so I do like the fullness of it the color looks really cute okay but the one thing that you're going to have to do with this I know you guys are like what it was with the lottie body lotto body wrap me foaming mousse so when I did another wig for Sam's Beauty it was the same kind of parting I think it was Harlem 125's wig too. It was. It was actually one Harlem 125's wig, and it was another 4x4 wig, just like this, but it was different. Um, and the way to get the hair to lay on one side, I had to do this. But this one isn't working for this one because it's so much hair right here. So the one thing that you can do to get it to lay um, on the one side is if you take yourself barrel hot curler and just put a damp washcloth on the head first and then lay the barrel right here it'll flatten it out now keep in mind make sure that they're gone washcloth is damp okay not soaking wet damp you know what I'm saying and then put the, the washcloth first and then put the barrel curler so washcloth barrel curler so that way it doesn't melt because it does say heat friendly but girl please I don't be trusting them wigs and you could they like oh you could curl them and all of this stuff they don't never be curling you have to add water you have to spritz water if you ever want to curl a synthetic wig you have to spritz water on it first and then curl it but for the most part it's very full I do like it okay very very full now I mean like I like it if it would just tame like you know what I'm saying if it would just stay because I like the way it looks and also if it would just stay like this like you see how I got that like swoopish thing like right there like I would have to spritz this thing down with like a whole can of hairspray just for it to stay like that because it won't plus I like the movement of it it's nice and like flowy and stuff and it's like the right length for me like I don't really like them too short I don't really like them too long because first of all my head is long so if I wear like a certain style wig then I gotta make sure that my head look good in it because my head is just long like seriously like look. I got like a long head but anyway so I like the 99J because the color shows up really, really nice. It is a pretty color for a bob. Like, seriously. Now, it is shedding. You guys see, it is shedding. Like, oh my God, did you guys forget to sew this hair in? Like this. Look, by the time I'm finished pulling this hair out, it won't be so dense like this. Like, this is really dense. But I like the fact that it's dense and it's like flowy. Like, I did this other one, I think it was for Outre. It was the was same type of hair and it was dense like this. Girl, please, it wasn't moving. It was just like stiff. You ever see those girls that they have, they like back in the 90s or 80s, whatever, they wear a mushroom hairstyle and then the hair would just move with the heads. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they move, then the hair would move. But the hair wouldn't just flow. Though. It was just like stiff. That's how the wig is, you know. You, you see some girls like that where their hair don't have no flow, no balance to it, no nothing. It's just there. But anyway, so. This one here, definitely check out Sam's Beauty for this one right here. She cute though. Make sure you check out. I don't even feel right talking to you guys like this. Like who? Like seriously, that's like a lot of work. I don't know how girls wear their hair over their eyes like that. Like, dang, I feel just dizzy and weird doing that. Like, could you imagine? I'm trying like that all day. You bump it into stuff like, what the heck? Y'all know some of y'all be wearing your hair over one eye. Y'all can't see. Mm-hmm. Y'all can't see, then y'all be at the club and the dude be trying to talk to y'all and y'all got your hair over your eye. And then you give me your number and then when you come back outside or the next time you meet up, you got your hair pulled off your eye and you be like, oh, was that you? I'm just saying, that's one reason why not to wear the hair over your eyes, okay? So I like it like right there, like a little swoopage over my eye right there. I could still see, yes. So I love you guys. Stay Diva and Divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. You know what to do. Put two thumbs up. Well, not two, but just thumbs it up. And just tell me what you think of this unit. I love you, and I'll see you in a soon-to-come video.